Hello and welcome back, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Tunisian Thievery campaign in Europa Universalis 4. Income's pretty solid, 122 ducats a month with full maintenance. Pretty sizable army. A uh, large portion of that's coming from trade. We got 30 ducats a month from war reps. France is still paying us 22. Which is sick and good and I like it. I want to continue that for a long time. Bohemia seems to be smashing some faces somewhere. We've got uh, a Poland army down here. And uh, we've finally taken that other province there, and we've also taken the province of Dalmatia. Let's go take that army out. Some Persian separatists in our vassal. Um, don't need a leader to deal with that. He is marching toward here. So we'll go there and then to there. We transfer this to Armenia. I want us to take that. This army should go there and get control of that. And I think we can piece out Persia. We're at 99% war score there, so we certainly can piece them out. It's just, you know, have we actually taken over all the provinces that I need to do it the way that I really want to do it? We have not engaged the enemy. They're dead. Like, come on now. Should we take every army over to the east? Probably not. Let's keep one here. Also, if we're making this much money, I might want to consider just training some more armies. So we have more to, to spread out. A little bit less, less to deal with. The disaster is ticking up slowly. 15.5%. I mean, eventually I'll probably just bump my stability all the way up to 3 and get rid of that issue. Okay, we're about to have that. Transfer that to Armenia as well. Remember if I if remember correctly, Armenia was actually really... Crazy on uh, overextension at one point. Now they, they've cored everything, so that's a good sign. But, um... How's their admin tech look? Tech 21. I have admin tech 24. Which means that they don't actually have... They only have a 20% cost in, ad, in, in administrative efficiency. Let's we'll see what it looks like if we feed them everything. I mean, we can handle the peace deal. It's it's not even that much. 73. Question is... I'm going to suffer overextension. Yes, yeah, so I, because I haven't actually transferred these. Could Armenia even handle this, is the question. Alright, let's look it up this way. We'll look it up in the ledger. We'll see, uh, based on development, sort by name. I need to look up Persia and Georgia. Georgia has uh, 66. Persia has... 97. So 66 plus 97. And they have a 20% reduction. So that's 130.4 overextension. I could just do it to them anyway and park some armies here, force them to core it. It seems like a, a simpler approach to me, actually. Okay, we're waiting on one more siege then there. Our war with Pol Poland is about to end anyway, so that's not a problem. Although he did take the fort, which is kind of irritating. Okay, so that's this war. This war has Lithuania, Milan, Poland, Styria. Um, I was going to take this to satisfy the mission. I'll probably just core that one myself. Then we're going to feed like all of Styria to Northern Tunis. Let's start those transfers. Aggressive expansion be damned. Blah, blah, blah. A little bit of a pop-up about some guy that doesn't matter. There goes Milan. We can knock him out now. Get off the province. Actually, we're, we're just headed home anyway. It doesn't matter if we get black flagged. Okay, I don't want anything from you. I want war reps and money. And, uh... Sure, know your lines. Okay, we'll transfer that fort to Northern Tunis as well. Eighty-eight percent war score uh, with Russia. I mean, I, again, I haven't paid like any attention to this war at all, but somehow we're at uh, five percent participation. The favors will be earned. Okay, this is to Armenia and Persia. You will give us everything you can. There's one more province out there that we can't take. Oh well. 47 aggressive expansion, who cares? And, uh... Yeah, it sounds good. Good luck, Armenia. 
We're gonna have to keep some troops here to help protect you, I think. His unrest is gonna be rather high. Overextension 6.16. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright. Next, let's get a whole bunch of land up to northern Tunis. We'll gain piety, of course. Maybe we can actually convert Rome now. Negative 7. Now negative 0.1. Russia has accepted peace. Benza Yaroslav, blah blah blah. Russia will revoke cores. Russia will release Emerti and Astrakhan. Uh, Tunis gets 5 ducats. He paid 212 Diplo. I gained 2 prestige. Teuton gains 72 power projection. We gained 1 favor. <laughs> nice. Not too concerned about that that war at, at all anyway, so whatever. Okay. Let's transfer everything to northern Tunis. And uh Let's go ahead and end this war as soon as we get our diplomat back then. I mean I don't think I want to take anything from Lithuania. We did make them a co belligerent. Let's see if we can actually do much with the war score. Full integration of Styria to northern Tunis is 71 piece value, and then if I take this, we're at 86. I could take these two for myself. I take the coast for myself, In Ingil. Might as well. We, we, we want the coastline. 73 point. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh my god, that's a lot. Maybe that's too much. This is 150 aggressive expansion with, like, every Catholic nation. They're, like, super pissed. How much does uh, Styria have? Like, how much am I actually feeding to him? Oh, 202 development. Wow. 202 times... Uh, you have admin tech that, so times 0.6. That's 121% overextension for you. I mean, I suppose we could go a little bit lighter on it. Maybe not worry about getting into the uh, the Veen node at all. Just have them take over the Venetian node and the coastline and stuff. Drop these four provinces up here for now. That's still going to be a ton, of course, but... Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't even really care. You know what? If, if, they, if there's a... <laughs> if, if there's going to end up being... Um, a coalition, I think we just fight it. I think it'd be fun. So, whatever. Let's just do it. Start our cores. Fall back here. Okay, check my notes. So, we have attacked people. We attacked Persia. Not attacked the Ottomans yet. And it's 49 that we can attack uh, Portugal. In 45, two years we can raid coasts. Well, uh, the coalition's going to form up in just a moment, and I think Ottomans are going to join. Basically, anyone that doesn't have a truce with us right now is going to join, so we should just attack the Ottomans, even if we don't want to do it and take much. So that they can't actually, you know, annoy me. Doing that attack, though, may actually prompt the coalition to form even harder. It's an aggressive act. We'll see. Could train more troops as a method of uh, trying to prevent people from attacking and joining the coalition. Just scare them with numbers. It's not a bad idea. We gained a fort, it looks like, in uh, here. No, yes, no. No, we did not. All right, whatever. Um, was there a fort up here that we had gained? Yeah, a little bit of unrest up there. Might as well keep onto it. Hold onto it for now. Our exiled armies here are marching back. Yeah, I think we train up a few more of these. Thirty-two stacks. We've got room for four thirty-seven minus three hundred twenty, hundred seventeen. Do three point six stacks. Let's just do three. Let's train like one here. One over here, and then one up here. Knock that extra 100,000 or whatever troops it is out in just a couple months here. Moldavia is giving land over to Bohemia. There's the coalition forming. Aragon has joined. Nitra. 
We'll see how big it gets. I might have to attack. Burgundy's now joined. Salzburg, Alsace, Hainaut. Okay, so of the people who've joined, who could we attack? Do we have a diplomat? No, we gotta wait at least 14 days. Netherlands is now in. Augsburg. Austria, Aquila, Parma. We lost our Inquisitor. Is that gonna stop me from converting the existing provinces? Yeah, we have negative total missionary strength now in Muscat. So we need the Inquisitor back, if we can get him. We only have production efficiency. We, we do not have the guy that I need. National tax modifier guy will probably make us quite a bit. Yearly inflation guy is also pretty useful, but he's only level 1. you would rather just have the extra points. So do that for now. Um, wait, not a diplomat. One, two. Okay. So, <laughs> who's in the coalition? It's a sizable number of troops, so Nitra. That's this little one province miner up there. We want to pick a one province miner target who's adjacent to us so we can immediately like blitz and occupy his capital. Augsburg, Austria is pretty damn weak. Um, he's also the emperor, if I'm not mistaken, still. So that means that if we attack him, we'll have his, access to the entire empire. I think we do just go ahead and do that. He's going to call in his allies, though. So we should probably try to find someone who has no allies and is in the coalition. Which would be who? Whom? Hainut? And it's a one province miner. Two allies. Arma is in here. Allied to just Bavaria and Austria. Austria's already in the coalition, so I think you sound like a pretty damn good target. And let's do it. Okay, you are busy with the Ottomans. You are doing nothing at the moment. Let's park you adjacent to this army. Put that leader over here. Go kill this thing. That's uh, Aquila's capital. The goal is to occupy the capital of the war leader who is uh, only a level 1 fort, pretty easy. We can gain one mercantilism and Newtonus gains liberty of desire, it's fine. Wurzburg has now joined a separate new coalition that's forming up. Nuremberg as well. The secondary coalition is probably never going to form, never going to actually attack. Aragon has joined. We have this guy over here with no, no general. Sieges against the Ottomans are secondary, I think. Frontline generals against the coalition are more important. So let's pull um, Mahir and Yunus off. So Mahir and Yunus. Put Yunus over here. I have to go beat up on Aragon. That's one, two, three on that front. With another army here. So Mahir and Yunus. We took Yunus. Let's grab Mahir. Have him help out. Uh, looks like probably against Austria. Relative strength here is uh, clearly in our favor. Already taken for Yuli. This is uh, Hills. That's fine. We'll take it. This general is a 3 5 versus a 1 0. We've got all, all of our combat ability. We rolled horribly. Portugal has been unable to hold on to Pueblo. Alright, cool. Good for them. He is trying to march away. See if we can chase him down. Not quite. He's getting away from me by, like, a day. And we've already got the capital of the coalition leader. Nice. Okay, and this is owned by Aquila. No fort. We are actually losing this fight now. They've actually rallied a ton of troops here. Let's retreat back to the mountains. I mean, if they hadn't reinforced, we would have been totally fine, but obviously they did. We'll keep this army on the capital of the, the coalition leader. And apparently we're fighting 71,000 Netherland troops. His combat width is uh, pretty maxed out. He's got lots of cannons. He's got lots of everything, in fact. Sure should be damned, right? Apparently he actually does have enough supply for it. This is only my 3-3 general. This is my 3-5 named Abu Bakr. Grab Abu Bakr. Bring him here. He has two maneuver, we have four maneuver. So we got a river crossing and defensive terrain, making our general effectively to a 5-7. They got a huge numbers advantage. We got a slight advantage with combat width because of the, the terrain. 
We'll hold out pretty well. We're probably going to lose, but we'll do more damage, I think, than we take. We will retreat as soon as we uh, see the centerfold start to fail. Which is going to be now. And we'll retreat back to Messina. We killed... Uh, Man, eh, about the same as we lost. wasn't a big fight. wasn't wasn't a big deal. Smashing the crap out of Aragon is nice, though. If I had to guess, he's gonna retreat somewhere down this way. Another new army fighting here. My thirty-two stacks are probably not strong enough. We we need to roll with twenty uh, with the two stacks together now. Meanwhile, we've got this army dealing with the Ottomans. Three of them is excessive, even just one is enough to make that war end, eventually. So send this guy west. Um, I had you guys in preparation for attacking Molten, but we can't attack Molten. Armenia's already overextended like crazy. So, these guys can swing to the west as well. Uh, we got one for the southern front. We'll keep one troop on the east, just in case. We just lost Eunice. Hmm. Now would be a, an ideal time to, to hire some generals then, except that I don't have the policies active right now. We could. These three are still locked for the 10 years period. I could get rid of the Liber Liberation Act temporarily. I don't think we have a lot of separatism because we haven't conquered too much lately. And then at the very least get like modern siege weapons going. And uh... I don't want to turn modern firearm techniques off. And 54 can be repealed and can be repealed in April of 54. Wow, is it 20 years that they're locked? Ah, uh, no, these two. I just I, I just turned that one on. Derp. In 50. Okay. Well, I guess we just go with that then. Let's hire another general. A two five with three. It's decent. I'm gonna take the war goal back. I'm gonna need to pick up this new stack. Bury it up into the into the boot of Italy. Yep, Parma just looks like, like one siege stick that it took. You've gotta have like one more man coming, right? Where is he? You're missing a cannon. Did it get cancelled? Maybe it was being trained in a vassal in another province? I'm not sure. Yeah, there's no other troops that are being trained right now. That one's forming up. This one's still forming up. It's a lot of dudes they're bringing in. I think I got rid of most of my forts in here. We have the level fort there. Level 4 fort there. My Italian vassal has nothing. We should be fine to, to get these troops across. Back up to 64 stack. Used aid traders. That's expired. These guys adjacent to each other. Grab Mahir. Put him there. Have those guys merge up. Wouldn't mind ending the war with the Ottomans as quickly as I can. We could also tech up on military right now to get a little of a competitive edge here on infantry fire. And the supply limit boost would be pretty nice. We're not too far off, and we do have really good stuff here. Um, have they teched up to 27? Yes. I think we'll take it, sure. I mean, we're going to get too many points anyway. And we're at war with a pretty sizable coalition, so... The numbers are still in my favor, but they are, I think, doing a better job of being consolidated right now. So a little bit of a concern there. Okay, dock up those guys. Waiting on your final cannon. This army needs some time to recover, but it's ready to go. We're going to roll with these larger stacks. We should take a look at the supply limit across the board now. I mean, it's still pretty low. 30s. Eh, it seems like 40 
maybe is about the, the lower bound in most locations. Seems to be the case to me. Apparently I cannot make that to a core somehow. Okay. I guess we give that to Armenia. I gotta remember to keep two stacks over near Armenia, because he's gonna have issues with the Rebellion. 100% chance. He has to. He just doesn't have any other real option. Definitely want to do that engagement. And our final cannon there is about to get done. To finish this occupation, transfer it to Armenia. And now, that is the peace deal. We still have Thuringia in the war. They give 17 reasons for peace. And that's with me taking everything. I end up with 48%, 49%. We can handle that. But we're essentially going to be pretty high. We do have some admin points. Not many, but enough, I think. And I do want to just kill the Ottomans, you know. It's the damn Ottomans. we got to kill them. Nice stack wipe. Wow. Okay, a couple uh, ticks of recovery here would probably be a good idea before we do this, since he's not going to take that fort in the next couple months. Um, marching a larger stack through this way is going to also be a good idea. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. Next episode we're going to go smash some, uh, some faces in and see what we can do. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you again soon.